Hey everybody and welcome back to another edition of Augusta Highlights. Today my guest is Commissioner Grady Smith. Grady, I'd like to thank you for being with me here today, but we're going to talk a little bit about some big news that came out this week about the city stepping up to the plate to try to help guide expansion plans for the university, for Georgia Regents University. We've proposed a cultural campus downtown to take advantage of the Miller Theater and the Imperial Theater. We're also potentially looking at a mill campus to take advantage of the existing mill sites of King Mill and Sibley Mill. And Grady, you and I are both graduates of Augusta College and alumni. What are your thoughts on it? I think it's great. I really do, and, and I really like the idea of us, you know, partnering with them and not everybody sharing ideas for the future uh, of, of Richmond County, Augusta, and, and uh, it, it'll be something that uh, children and grandchildren will be beneficial to them, but then also all the other CSRA areas with the cultural aspect it'll bring for that area. You know, it's, it's so exciting to me, and I've shared with people that Augusta was built on a history of innovation. You know, Henry Cummings looked at the River Shoals and saw a canal to promote commerce, which is what brought those mills there. Bobby Jones, we've got a little golf tournament coming up in a couple of weeks. He looked out over Fruitland Nurseries and saw a golf course that would revolutionize the game of golf. James Brown, my friend, looked at a music scale and saw a funky beat that would change the face of music. So I think this just builds on that history of innovation. Oh, it does. And, and thank God for those people and the people that are now working on this project. It's, we need visionary people that can th see things positive. And, and when you get people thinking positive, you're naturally going to, great things are going to happen. And we need to, uh, you know, all work together and, and come under one, one banner and move Richmond County, Augusta, CSRA full. Well, and I, I too, you know, Grady, want to share with our viewers today that this would not be possible without the support, unanimous support of the Augusta Commission. And, Sometimes, you know, what you see in the press and everything, it might not all look good, but this is something that we've all been able to come together around. Oh, yeah. And, and I think uh, uh, the press, you know, uh, is behind us, and, and with all the commission meeting together, and like I say, when everybody starts thinking positive, good things are going to happen, and we do need our media and press to get behind us and be positive. We, we need to put aside some of this gray cloud negative and, 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 and move forward because we've got some good ideas coming across the table, and we need to help get the message out on what's, what's happening. Absolutely. And well, I will tell you, that is what we're doing today. So I just want to say thank you so much for being with me, my friend. I'm um, Deke Copenhaver here with Commissioner Grady Smith. I'm here with Commissioner Wayne Gilfoyle. And Wayne, we've had some exciting news this week about the city stepping up to the plate to really try to help the university, Georgia Regents University, expand its footprint in, in Augusta. What are your thoughts on that? I believe um, after speaking with Matt and the one you had hired for the collaboration has done a wonderful job from outside perspective looking in. He's able to put the pieces of Augusta, what we have, together and to make this puzzle come together and plus with the support of every entity that's involved. It's going to be a great thing for Augusta. Well, you know, it's so great to me and I share with people that it would not be at this point did we not have the support unanimously of the commission, but you made mention of the fact that, you know, a project that has support from the governor's office, from the chancellor, the board of regents, and just not stopping it moving forward. We're not there yet. It's still in its infancy. It's not a done deal, but that wide range of support is something that you don't often see. You're right, and with everybody that's involved at this embryo stage, they could put the input for the outcome to be so much better, so much greater for Augusta. And it's not only putting Augusta on the map because we recognize as the golf capital of the world, it's gonna be the education part, the archscape, and I'm looking forward to it. Well, it's exciting times for the city, but let me tell you something, it is a pleasure calling you friend and working with you each and every day, so thank you for being here with me today. Thank you, Dean. Thanks, ma'am. Commissioner Williams, I just want to get your thoughts. This is something where the city has really stepped up to the plate. I just think it's so nice, Mr. Mayor. I think the whole city is going to be excited about what we're doing at, at uh, Harrisburg and at the mill over there. It's going to look so beautiful once it's finished. I just can't hardly wait. I mean, people who may not understand it need to see the, the drawing, the rendering that we got. Well, and I just would say that 
It's a collaborative effort, and this is the city's plan, having the unanimous support of the commission. And so often, people don't think we work together as well as we do, but you know, you and I had a great conversation after the first of the year, went to lunch together about how can we work to do, together to do great things, and I think this is one of those. I just think it's one of those same things as well, but you're going to have those naysayers, and we don't worry about those. No. We, we're trying to move Augusta forward, and Augusta's moving very much forward. This is a perfect example of how we're moving forward. This is just one of the many good things that's coming our way. Absolutely. I'm, I'm just excited to be a part of it. Me too, and I'll tell you, one of the things that's so exciting to me and you and I have discussed is the potential for educational outreach, healthcare outreach to really help the neighborhoods surrounding, and not just there, but in Lady Walker, Bethlehem as well. That has huge potential, but that's really helping our citizens. Oh yeah, and, and that's going to be in a snowball effect. It's going to grow, it's going to continue to get uh, larger as it grows, and it's going to run from one side of the city all the way to the other side. And I just think we'll see a different Augusta uh, in the next few years. We just keep doing projects like this one. And anybody hadn't seen it, I, I would suggest to you, you take a look at the plans, look at what we're trying to do now, look how Augusta's moving forward. Well, I will tell you, Commissioner, thank you for being here with me today. It is a pleasure working with you, my friend. Same here, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Well, everybody, it's really been a historic week in Augusta with the city stepping up to the plate to help with the university with regards to potential expansion plans within the city of Augusta. We've proposed looking at a cultural campus on Broad Street to include the Miller and the Imperial as potential sites for students to participate and have activities in. We're looking at the potential in the future, not a done deal, but the potential for a performing arts center on the pension property, which would really create a thriving arts district for the city. We've also had the exciting news of looking at the Mill Campus potential. That would be for the university to expand into the existing King and Sibley Mills. We think that this would be just a world-class opportunity for them. It would create a sense of place. I've shared with people that if I'm an 18-year-old kid with a kayak and a mountain bike, I know where I'd be looking to go to school. But it's been a real pleasure to have commissioners here with me today give their views on this. Because really, without the Augusta Commission, we would not be where we are today. They unanimously approved a resolution of support in helping the, the university move forward. So I just want to thank them for that. And it is amazing what can happen when you get a team together, you get buy-in at all levels. I believe in Augusta and I believe that the future looks bright. So thank y'all for joining me and have a great weekend.